here with the team for Dr. TWL Face. Um, on my left is Stephanie Harold. She's been my childhood friend since we were eight. So I'll let you introduce yourself. Yeah, um, I'm Stephanie Harrell, um, and I'm here styling for Dr. Tia Wan Lin today for her Dr. Uh, Dr. TW Face webisode. Um, I also do production management for Chi Chi Von Tang, so you'll get to see some of their amazing pieces later on. Mm -hmm. And the wardrobe is currently provided by Lisa. Yes, uh, the personal of collection. Chi Chi Von Tang. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm actually wearing a dress from a wardrobe as well. Oh, yeah, I really love it. I love this style. Yep, and uh, we have Andrew Claire, who is a celebrity hair and makeup artist all the way from Canada. Yes. Uh, so a little bit about me, I've been doing hair and makeup for 27 years. I've ran teams for Fashion Week in Canada, as well as in New York, and I've been uh, on TV, I've done makeover shows in Canada. I was the lead hairstylist for L'Oreal Paris uh, for the Fashion Weeks, as well as for Canadian Idol, and I'm so old that I can't remember everything else. <laughs> And Andrea's got a great sense of humor and we love having her on set. Um, on the extreme right, we have um, Master Ren Villa, who is the creative director as well as the chief photographer for today. Um, I'll let Ren introduce himself. Ready guys, um, I'm Ren Villa, and I keep myself fresh with Dr. Steel. <laughs> What's in your pocket, Ren? In my yeah. pocket. What's in your pocket? You don't have a bag. What's in your pocket? <laughs> I seldom sleep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's always slaving fire. for a Dr. T. That's <laughs> right, and this has saved my eyes for well, eye <laughs> and, and it's very good to take care of your shooting eye. It does. Oh, yeah. yes. As a photographer, this is most sad. important, guys. But besides that, you need to cover your whole face. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. I do have the next elixir bit, which is for your face rejuvenation, and it has a perfect vision, which I will eventually reach for the <laughs> yes, Ren, you've been looking fresher than ever these days. Amazing. Right, so what's in your bag, Adria? So what's in my bag is my favorite honey cleanser. I love, love, love this product. And I think I've told you before, I love it so much that my husband was jealous and he started using it. I am speechless. <laughs> too if he watches this when I reveal his secrets, but it really is. I, I, a lot of people know that skincare is, is my thing, and because uh, it's a strong basis to any really good makeup is great skincare, and uh, yeah. Now the science behind this, um, natural honey is uh, an emulsifier, so just like coconut oil, natural honey does a good job of grabbing all the dirt, the grime, the bacteria on the skin, and then it forms into a lather, which you wash off with um, plain water. Um, this is in contrast to chemical lathering agents like sodium lauryl sulfate, which tend to strip skin of moisture. So that's why you find that um, you know, after cleansing, your skin still feels um, hydrated. It's clean, but at the same time, it's not um, you know, like squeaky clean, that it's, it's dry, it's, it feels uncomfortable. Yeah, 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 not at all. It doesn't feel tight at all. So. Andrea, I should have that at home as well. I did not bring it in my purse today. <laughs> Is your husband using yours as well? <laughs> you know, I've made him use mine. I was like, really? He's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's he's you know, really he's hard you know, to please. It's so funny because I don't have to make my husband use any of my products because uh -huh. we'll be getting ready for bed and, and a couple times, I don't want to overstate it in case he watches it, <laughs> a couple times, just a few. But he, he'll say, like, how come, how come you're aging? So much better than I am. <laughs> and I'm like, because I'm a hair and makeup artist and I know all the secrets. And then he's like, slowly, my skincare goes from one side of the cabinet oh my. over to his. So I like actually called him forever. one time. He was on a business trip in India. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't find my moisturizer. <laughs> you have to put it in the lock his key. bag. Yeah. yeah. I have to lock it out. It's full <laughs> it. oh all right. And um, so. What What's I in your do bag? have with me is, well, okay, I have water, because <laughs> why not? You have to you know, nourish from the within as well. Um, I have Mineral Booster, which I love. Um, it's so good for setting makeup after having like, just a really sweaty day and just you know, still wanting to look good. Um, and I also have this Vitamin C Serum that I all 
always bring with me, uh, especially on vacation, because I get quite a bit of sun, but I do use the sun protector. Um, but you know, I still get quite dry skin if there's sun, so this is nice to put on my forehead. And it's really the one of the only serums that doesn't make me break out. It's like really, really sensitive skin. Uh, so yeah, love this one here. And let's see, I have a lipstick from Urban Decay that I love. It's called Heartless. It's a nice nude color for the daytime. Um, Isn't that yeah. how they describe you? Heartless? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's actually named after me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that, those are my goodies in my bag. Okay, so what's in my bag? Um, no, I am always carrying uh, my personal handphone charger. After um, borrowing Andreas for uh, many months, I have decided that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I do a lot of work on my mobile, so that's pretty handy. I also have a bunch of my name cards. So I am a consultant dermatologist at TWL Specialist Skin and Laser Center at Mount Elizabeth Novena. I um, always carry my sunscreen with me. I reapply it every three to four hours, even when I'm indoors, because um, it's a myth that when you're sitting by the window indoors, that you don't get any of the harmful UVA and UVB rays. Unless your sunglass, but unless your window glass is specifically tinted, you are still receiving proportion of these damaging rays. Um, the other thing I, I have, have a question. Uh-huh. <laughs> Since you're a doctor, I can ask this. Uh, now, I have heard, and tell me if this is a myth or not, that uh, your computer gives off rays and that you should uh, be wearing sunscreen in front of your computer screen. Um, actually, that's a myth. Yeah, because uh, whatever is given off from the computer, it belongs to the visible wavelength. Um, visible light wavelength. It is not ultraviolet light. Okay. Um, it's only ultraviolet light, like UVA and UVB, that is known to be damaging to skin. Although there is some research which suggests that visible light uh, wavelengths, like what is emitted by a computer, it does cause some tanning over a long period of time. Okay. But it's not directly linked say, to the risk of skin cancers or photo aging. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I have been hijacked. I was going to tell <laughs> the audience about what's left in my bag, but um, let me just go to my favorite product, the Mineral Booster. I use this basically to freshen up my skin in the middle of the day. Um, I stay in an air-conditioned environment all day long, so um, it gets a bit drying, and on top of that, it's quite uncomfortable to actually apply moisturizer in the middle of the day over makeup. So I use this to freshen my skin. It's also full of antioxidants, which helps to fight the you know, process of aging caused by free radicals. Um, and to sum it all up, a woman should not be without her favorite lipstick color, and mine is Insatiable by Chanel. And it doesn't describe me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go through everything in my bag. Oh, yes, that's right. You're bringing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the cameraman who is helping us, helping us with all of this, what do you have in your bag? <laughs> I have this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a backdrop. Okay. <laughs> wow. 